All right, episode 41 of Hero Girl's Guide Pretty Care was a really nice, interesting episode that I hadn't seen in a while from the um, Hero Girl episodes. And this was a Mashiro episode, and it was great. And it also had Batamondo in it, if, instead of him acting what he was doing in episode 39. But he's still the same. Honestly, I don't even know what his goal is. But it, it, him in this episode was a really nice good storytelling for his character and we finally got a little bit of more information on Undark Empire and from like um, his little flashbacks when he was like um still being in the Empire. Oh yeah and we finally got to see Kabaton again get some lines as if like the line he got like um in the episode where we finally like um met like um Batamona's human form. So I guess that's nice. But so, like, um, in this episode, the plot was basically that, um, n that Mashio, the, the picture book contest that she was, like, um, that got her to do her picture book dream, is starting up another contest again. And so, like, she has another chance to, like, actually win a reward, and that's what she wants to do. She wants to try and actually win something from the contest that she didn't got to win last time. And so, like, um, that's basically, like, the main plot is, and they're talking about, like, autumn, because it's, like, autumn season and all that stuff. Yeah, I love autumn so much, especially Thanksgiving, because that's what we do in America. Even though that people forget that Thanksgiving exists, apparently, and just have to put up Christmas decorations <laughs> early! Okay, then I'm done with my little rant there. But yeah, like, uh, Mashio was, like, trying to, like, come up with an idea for, like, um, the new picture book to enter in the contest, but she couldn't really figure it out, and then, like, the, the group tried to relax her out, and, like, um, Ellie Chan saw, like, a fallen leaf, um, which, like, um, Yo-Yo was having, like, a full basket of autumn leaves, and one of them, a maple leaf, fall out of the basket, and, like, um... Ellie Chan was fascinated by the colors as when it's fall and autumn season, the um, leaves change color. And they are a beautiful sight to behold. And so the group decides to take out Mashio to um, the park so she can like um, try and find some ideas for her new picture book because she didn't want to like um, use any books that she has already made because, uh, because she claims that everyone's going to have like a really good picture book and that's new and all that stuff. Also, Ellie Chan wanted to go to the park and see the more of the leaves, so they dragged Mumashi along with that. And so, as they were at the um, park, guess who else was there? Oh, it was Monda, and we know that's about the Monda. But of course, um, the group doesn't really know it yet. Not yet, even though there was like some instance that they could have figured out, or from like his perspective. And yeah, he had some couple of funny scenes in this episode, but it was definitely focused on Mashio and Monda at the same time. As we um had Monda on his break, he's definitely not working for like the traffic place anymore, so yeah, I wonder how that happened. But he's sitting on the bench and we also see like Kapaton in this scene and he's giving out baked potatoes and he's having the fun time with like Batamon is like calling him a loser, but he says like I'm in the same spot as him, but he's having like more fun than he is being carefree and finally, like, just not having to deal with the worries of Undark Empire and all that stuff, really. But Batamonda knows that, um, he'll get the worst of the punishment. Especially when Skearhead is on scene, too, with all this going on. And, um, he, um, once the, um, group cut, once the, um, Hero Girl group comes to, um, the park and, um, Masha sits down to, like, um, jar the, um, leaves because she's giving her some ideas for, like, a picture book and a lot of stuff. It's also during this scene that kind of, like, reminded me about, like, the, um, art style where, like, you, um, take, like, a leaf and put it under a piece of paper and then just scribble over it and then you can, like, get the shape of the leaf on them and it kind of, like, reminded me of that. I remember doing it when I was in Girl Scouts, so it was a good reminder. But, like, um, yeah, Mona comes and sits down next to Mashio, and they talk to her a bit, and definitely, like, um, just, like, watch that part for yourself, instead of, like, me explaining it, because it's better to, like, um, see them talking about it. But it was also, like, during this scene that, um, that Mashio noticed, like, how he was, like, talking that, um, made her think that she, he was being frustrated with something. And, of course, being Batamonda, he was not going to actually admit that he was being frustrated with something. With, like, um, frustrated that, like, um, that he's, that, but, that he's failed 
in the Underdark Empire, and he's going to, like, you know, that stuff that's going on. I can't really explain it in detail with my voice, but just, like, watching that part of the episode, or, like, at least, like, looking up someone else that made a review on that part, because it's hard for me to explain it, it's definitely, like, really good. But, like, um, during that scene in particular, we had some flashbacks that showed um, Batamonde in the Undark Empire. There was actually also one scene that had it also, but Kapiton and Minotaur on in it, too. And it sh- seems to, like, um, what I could, like, um, understand from this flashback is that, like, um, they did a lot, of, like, Undark Empire does a lot of vigorous training with its, um, with its, um, members and um the members don't really like um get it good or like for about the moment's case he was not doing good at all like he was being more of the weakling as scarehead would say it and also scarehead recognized um that batamonda in his human form and he was and when like um batamonda ran i meant monda ran away from machio after like um having this conversation Scarehead came up to him when he was like um feeling down and all that stuff and he was going to eliminate Batamonda for good because he had no value to the on dark empire and all that stuff anymore and he's just like standing here being care saying in this world being carefree and everything and that was not acceptable from Scarehead's statement and so he was going to do the elimination but Machio stepped in to protect Wanda even though she does not even know that, like, Monda's actually about the Monda and is their enemy in human form. But she even still, like, um, because of their connection, especially from the episode, um, oh yeah, it was episode 34, I was just looking back to make sure I was getting that right. But, like, in episode 34 and all that, like, um, their connection from those previous episodes kind of, like, um, puts it into perspective, like, um, just about this relationship that Masha is having with not, with Batamonda, we're not even realizing that Bonda is Batamonda. And I honestly, like, can't wait to see what happens when that is finally revealed. Like, what would Prism's reaction be? I don't know. But this also gave, like, um, when Masha says to, like, ask Bonda to run away, which he did, this also gives him a chance to do that, and, um, Scarehead summons the Kyoborg to attack the Pretty Cures as they fought it, and, like, a lot of their attacks were, like, um, bouncing off and all that stuff, but when they found out that they need to, like, um, find a way to, like, stop the spinning, like, because it was also using an umbrella to, um, do the fighting, and it was spinning it around, they were able to, like, um, use Prison Shot to, um, stop it spinning, and they doing it by knocking the um giant ball of light around to also like um achieve that move. And with that they were able to use Majestic Collation to defeat the Kyoborg. And um and Scarehead was going to like um try and finish off Bat Monda. But Sky got in the way and he and this was like this was a really like um big moment that I really like did from this episode where like um she just like um asks Scarehead why is he attacking Monda or like um basically why is, why is he doing this and all that stuff. And then Scarehead says that we're in like the um what the um subtitles were saying, like his we are doing it this for the ones for the one we love, and so when I think about that, they must be talking about Emperor Zundark. But what was the um, meaning behind the one we love? Because we hadn't really saw any interactions that could point why they love Emperor Zundark so much. What is her backstory, or what is anything going on with the Undark Empire? Because we hadn't been seeing any like um scenes in Undark Empire that much to uh, ex- actually explain the um to, the to explain more about like the um the actual motives of the empire like we saw in previous pretty curious seasons to um get the point across because like we know the basic point was like trying to capture ellie chan but now that now that plot points like their plan droned out of the way they're doing something else but it's like way too like what are they doing it's just like hard for me to even explain like, one of the things that 
I'm not really liking, but here Guard of Sky was definitely like, um, they're not really like, um, focusing on the villains that much. But that's basically my, um, take on it. But, like, he was going to, like, um, defeat Sky until a wing came in and, like, stopped it, the, um, fighting, and then, like, um, Skierhead just, like, um, left. And as they were walking back and all that stuff, um, we also had, like, um, one scene with Mona's just, like, watching them, and it's just, they don't even know that I'm their enemy and stuff like that. But, like, um, as, Ma as like, uh, Masio is, like, talking with the girls, uh, talking with the group, she was able to, like, tell them that she has figured out a, um, way to, um, have, um, for the theme of the, um, book she wants to write for the contest that's coming up. And so that is apparently what's going on with this episode. And it was a nice, decent episode. There was some good scenes that, like, I really liked a lot from this episode. And we got so at least some details of Undark Empire. So I'll give it that for now. And so that will be my review for episode 41 of Hero Guard Sky Pretty Cure. I hope you enjoyed with what I explained and all that stuff and what I liked about it and everything. And I'll see you in episode 42 of Hero Garo and other reviews on my channel and other videos in general. Because, like, it seems what's going on in episode 41. We're having Captain Charlotte come back. But, um, it seems also something is going on with both Sora and Tubasa. So we'll see what happens there. Anyway, that's my review. See ya. Bye.